attributes. So we have a tag by the name of a tag, which has its own attribute. As you can see, this h href is the attribute of a tag. A tag can connect has with another web page. So let's write something right here. So if you want to connect your first page with another page, you can use the ha tag. So after the href equal and double quotation, you can see, and here you can write the address of your web page. So I'm going to write a simple www.google.com. So first HTTPS with colon and two forward slash and www google.com so let's save this and let's refresh our web page so as you can see nothing will happen because we need to write a text right inside this opening and closing tag let's write google let's click and let's come to the browser and refresh so as you can see let's me zoom this as you can see this is a uh, Google and with underline describe that this is a link. So when we click on this, it take a, it take us through to the Google web page. Now this is called a tag and href is the attribute of a tag. And we also have another tag which is image tag. Now the image tag has is the single tag. Doesn't have the closing tag. And src is the attribute of the image tag and inside this image tag you can write the address of your image so first let me check i have an image or not so this is an image i'm going to change its text first nature and let's cut this from here and paste it inside this and let's check check its and now let's write the name of our image so the image is inside the src attribute we are going to write the name of our image which is nature and its type is jpg now let's save this and let's run our All right, so let's run this now from here this is the image that we have used inside this image tag and this is the image tag which doesn't have the end tag and this src is the attribute of our image tag. alt or alt will describe our image sometimes where the uh, when the browser do not display an image this text will describe the image that this image is about this there are much more attributes that we can talk about so let's talk about the width and the height of attributes for this let's remove this alt and we are going to talk about the width and height width just write width with equal and double quotation in here we are going to write the which is 500 and height will 600 these two are also an attributes which will describe the width and the height of an image so let's browse here you can see our image is bigger than before the p tag also have a attribute which is style style equal and double quotation style here you can write the type of style that you want for your paragraph so for now i just want to uh, give this paragraph a color so i'm going to use color with column and red and remember add a semicolon at the end of the color type so i save this and let's print this again and as you can see our paragraph is with the red color another attribute that we can give to the paragraph is the title the title attribute defines some extra information about an element the value of the title attribute will be displayed has a tooltip when you uh, mouse over the element for this you can say title equal and double quotation and here you can write I am a, I'm a tooltip so let's save this and let's refresh the page so when we over a cursor on the paragraph it will give some information about this paragraph 
as you can see i'm a tooltip so this is the title attributes that we can also add in our paragraph and some other you can use this not only for a paragraph you can also use this for an image that you want for example let's add this into this image let's copy this and save it here let's change the content this is a nature let's save and let's refresh so when we curse over it as you can see this is a nature is a tooltip it will give some information about the image paragraph or whatever you use it. remember always quote the value of the attributes as you can see all the value of attributes are inside the double quotation if you don't use the double quotation it may not work properly now there are some differences between single line quotes and double line quotes double quotes around the attributes value are the most common in html but single quotes can also be used in some situations when the attributes value itself contain double quotation double quotes it is necessary to use single quotes for example you can use you can use as you can see i've used a single quote right here but also you can use a single quote right here inside this tool if you want to print a text inside the quote you can use the single quote as well so let's save this and let's print when i over a cursor you can see that tooltip is inside a single quote if you want to print a text inside the double quote so you can use so let me first let's use a single quote if you want to use this tooltip inside the double quote let's add this and let's save this now let's check what will happen let's refresh refresh the page and let's over a cursor as you can see the tooltip is inside a double quotation so you can also use the single quote and as well as the double quote when you want to write some text inside the quote if you learn anything in this video please like comment and subscribe our youtube channel it will help us to make more useful content for you